Welcome back, bros. Balloon! Yes! The balloon apocalypse! The doom balloon! The ballooning! All of the balloons. It seems that uh, quite a kerfuffle is being had in the US at the moment due to the appearance of what are claimed to be Chinese spy balloons. There have been a bunch of these over the continental United States. And it appears, based on someone backtracking the path of the original one, which is currently over Montana, to have originated from China. So, what are these things? Well, we're going to go through it. Um, there seems to have been like quite a bit of um, toing and froing. Everyone's trying to make political points out of this. The US right is going crazy, and at the moment, uh, the Pentagon and the Biden administration have not said very much. So the balloon was spotted, I believe, less than a day ago. I think I was leading, reading about it last night. Uh, indeed, this is from February 2nd. It has come on over from Canada into the continental United States. Nobody exactly knows what's on it. There are varying theories, people saying that... Uh, it's uh, just a surveillance balloon. I believe this is what the Pentagon is basically saying. There are other more crazy theories that uh, it might, in fact, be, I don't know, an EMP or a bioweapon or some kind of stuff. I have heard people speculating that um, they may contain some kind of uh, underground mapping weapons package. But on the balance, it's probably more likely that uh, it's a sensor package trying to detect radar signatures in the path of the balloon, thus a good way of mapping out a country's missile defense and early warning systems. So the Pentagon isn't saying much about this issue. They're basically saying, yes, it's a balloon. Yes, it's Chinese. Yes, it's carrying some kind of package. No, we're not going to tell you what it is. But is it armed? When, is it munitions? It is a surveillance balloon. Again, does not pose, we currently assess it does not pose a physical or military risk to people on the ground. Okay, what could payload that, is it an engine? I'm, I'm just, I'm Again, trying to... I can't go into more details. So, okay, thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate it. This has also generated questions to uh, President Biden, uh, or Mr. Potato, as uh, we fondly know him on this channel, who, in his usual potato-like way, was unforthcoming with answers, the way that uh, you might expect an answer if you were asking a random potato. Mr. President, when and how will you remove the balloon? When and how will you remove the balloon, Mr. President? Yes. Mr. President, what are you going to do about the balloon? What are we going to do about the balloon? Oh, uh, the balloon is, is nothing. It's nothing, Jack. You know, rah, 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 rah. Now, it's quite interesting that apparently this is not the first time that this has happened. Quite the opposite. So this is from The Drive. And according to this article, um, these balloons have been flying over US airspace for a while. Why this one in particular was noticed is uh, anyone's guess. It may have to do with the Montana TV station that originally picked up the footage, put the footage on Twitter, and it got amplified. It is also possible, I guess, that um, they're using this, this news story as a way to cover for other kinds of news stories. Perhaps the uh, thing to do with, uh, you know, uh, Pfizer, for example. Hard to say. Hard to say. There have been calls, of course, to shoot the balloon down, to capture it, you know, to do something. Oh my god, the Chinese can't just go around sticking their balloons in our face. However, the truth of the matter is that uh, there's actually very little that can be done about this balloon, apparently. It flies extremely high, says here, above 50,000 feet. Uh, the Pentagon has assured that uh, it is no threat to commercial air traffic, which of course means that it's very, very high indeed. Now, if it is that high, it means that uh, regular fighter jets can't get to it. Um, apparently, shooting it down with uh, a missile is uh, also impossible because it does not reflect radar. Um, it also does not generate enough of an infrared signature to lock onto. And even if it did, apparently, uh, the kind of missiles that they would be using don't uh, get that high because they need an oxygen intake. The anti-satellite weapons that would be used are apparently two-stage that are launched into orbit and go into orbit around the satellite before striking, so that wouldn't work either. Um, there is also suggestions that uh, this balloon, which is supposed to be the size of about three school buses, is, is what they keep saying, so it, it, would, it would be goddamn huge. 
uh, is in fact an aerostat, which means a balloon that has a number of uh, sort of independent chambers inside it, meaning that uh, it's it's very very hard to take down. If you just puncture it with one thing, it'll it'll keep on going. So we basically have a nigh indestructible aerostat balloon drifting over a number of rather sensitive U.S. nuclear installations, mainly where they keep Minutemen missile silos, which is why everybody is freaking out. Now, some people are being like, hey, relax, uh, you know, the Chinese have satellites in orbit, um, you know, what's the difference? Uh, well, could be a number of differences. Uh, I don't know how hard it is, for example, to transmit uh, electromagnetic signals through space, but I imagine it would be a lot easier to send them to a low orbit balloon than to an orbiting satellite in terms of power. Don't quote me there, though. Not exactly an, an EM scientist. But in terms of mapping uh, things like radar coverage, early warning radar, um, precise zones that are being covered by you know radars for early warning and missile defense, I think it would be very, very effective. You never know what something like that might pick up. And honestly, no one knows what kind of sensor package is under it. All they really know is that there's solar panels to power the thing. Well, that makes perfect sense. And uh, some kind of package. Uh, it can't really be brought down. Uh, a lot of people on Twitter are like, let's go and damn capture that balloon. And, you know, it's not... I, I think the government just doesn't really... US government doesn't really want to say, oh, yeah, there's, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, so someone would probably be like, well, how do you know? And they'd probably be like, well, we've been deploying balloons like this over China and Russia <laughs> for years. Um, which makes sense because back in the day... Um, to get a high altitude uh, aerial photography, they used to the U.S. used to use uh, very high altitude spy planes like the SR-71 Blackbird. Yes, the SR-71 Blackbird, one of the coolest looking planes ever to be designed, in my personal opinion. Whole idea of this was it would go way, way, way high up in the sky, fly at like 60, 70 k over like Russia, and use a down facing camera to snap uh, pictures of the ground until uh, one of them crashed. Uh, I believe the pilot's name was Gary Powers, got captured by the Soviets, and it was a whole to-do. It would be much easier to just stick all this stuff in an unmanned balloon, even though it would be much harder to control. It's sort of at the mercy of the wind, as far as I've seen on the pictures. There is no, you know, propellers or propulsion. But they're a lot cheaper to make. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess, if they if they crash, you could uh, transmit data to the ground. There's all, all kinds of like crazy fuckery you, you could do with this. So, what has been the upshot from the Chinese? Well, the Americans have uh, protested in diplomatic terms. Anthony Blinken has cancelled his trip to China following the spy balloon allegations. The uh, Chinese, of course, have basically been saying, hey, 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 look, it's a civilian balloon. It went off track. Could have happened to anyone, uh, you know, relax, guy, don't get your knickers in a twist. Um, so this is from the uh, MFA, Chinese MFA, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Um, question, according to media reports, a Chinese unmanned airship has been spotted in US airspace. Do you have any comment? Uh, answer, the airship is from China. It is a civilian airship used for a research, mainly meteorological purposes, weather balloon. Affected by the westerlies and with a limited self-steering capability, <laughs> the airship deviated from its planned course. The Chinese aside, much regret the unintended entry of the airship into U.S. airspace due to a force majeure. Now, force majeure, for those of you who don't know, is a situation sort of uh, beyond control, an act of God, uh, if, if you will. Um, the Chinese side will continue to uh, communicating with the U.S. side and a proper rear handle, this unexpected situation caused by a force majeure. Well, of course. It's exactly what the fucking Chinese would say. I mean, look, let's face it, right? If, if the shoe was on the other foot, it's exactly what the Americans would say, too. They'd be like, hey, buddy, we didn't mean to fly a balloon over your sensitive military installation. It was just, you know, the wind, uh, you know, climate change, wind of vagina, you know, if I can, you know like, like, whatever. So, nobody really knows exactly what the hell is going on with this. There are other reports as well of balloons. Um, <laughs> this this might this will probably spawn like a rash of sightings everywhere as like a whole bunch of like schizos look up into the sky and start searching for balloons. 
Some of them will probably be real, some of them won't. This certainly looks like the same kind of thing, but it's just some rando on Twitter. Um, stratospheric balloons. I don't know. Um, but yes, I've I've heard of reports in in Costa Rica and uh, that you know they've been off the coast of Hawaii and all kinds of like other stuff. So you know it's the balloon apocalypse. Um, who knows what these sinister balloons could maintain? It could just be a psychological warfare thing as well. Like honestly, the Chinese just being like, "Ha, fear our mighty balloons! You think you're so strong, Americans? Ha, well, you know, any anything really is possible at the moment." But the U.S. has been scrambling military assets. Apparently, they have scrambled F-22 Raptors to try and in- intercept the balloon. Um, again, it's not going to do anything. They can't fly that high. A couple of airports got shut down, uh, presumably to let the military planes go through. And the main reason that the Americans are saying that they can't shoot it down, uh, the Pentagon was like, well, you know, we considered it. You know, we're afraid that if we shoot it down, there'll be like a massive fall of debris. Um, it is over central Montana at the moment, I believe, which is a relatively unpopulated area. On the other hand, this balloon is huge. But on the other other, other hand, uh, it's not like the Pentagon can really come out and say, oh, yeah, we can't really shoot it down. Uh, very, very bad look uh, for the Pentagon to say that. The decision was ultimately taken not to take the shot due to the potential risks involved. Huh, that reminds me of some other shot that uh, I failed to take because of the potential risks involved. Hmm, funny choice of words. And another consideration, of course, is that uh, if they do have a weapon to shoot down the balloon, then by shooting down the balloon, they will reveal to the Chinese how that weapon works. You know, they might get telemetry on the secret anti-balloon missile before it strikes, and then the Chinese would have knowledge of countermeasures. This this sounds like massive cope to me, honestly. Other excuses have been like, oh, you know, we must uh, we must monitor the balloon, you know, to know its secrets, you know, to, to, to know our enemy, the balloon. We must become the enemy, the balloon, and, you know, watch its, like, every move and stuff. I don't know. I, 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 I honestly don't know. But everybody's talking about this at the moment. Um, I don't know. The I, I think it's going to be used for big political points in the U.S. Um, it makes Biden look weak. It ties into that whole sort of thing about him working for China. It uh, lets the Republicans look uh, strong on national security by saying we would we would shoot down that balloon. <laughs> I mean, of course, it's, you know it's, it's easy for the Republicans to say because they're in opposition, they're not in government, um, so they don't actually have to take the decision. They can just basically criticize the government, current government for not doing it. Perhaps most interestingly, Pentagon Press Chief Secretary Ryder and the senior U.S. defense official both said suspected high-altitude surveillance balloons had been monitored passing over the continental United States in recent years on multiple occasions. So this thing has been going on for a while. They just haven't been talking about it, which again uh, would suggest that if it was about monitoring the balloons, they would have already monitored them, and if they could shoot them down, they might. There is also the consideration that... uh, If they shoot down the balloons, it may give the Chinese precedent for saying, well, you know, look, if you won't let uh, any foreign objects in your airspace and you're going to shoot them down, well, we're going to do the same thing. You could expand that definition to a bunch of stuff. And um, look, quite frankly, I'm sure the US is doing very similar stuff to both China and Russia at the moment. Uh, I've I've seen, God, years and years ago, they were talking about high-altitude aerostats for all kinds of stuff, delivering internet signals and, you know, um, aerial photography, all kinds of stuff. So it, it might just be a secret thing that uh, everyone is doing to everyone else at the moment, and they just don't really want to talk about it. And usually the public don't notice. Apparently there was one off the coast of Hawaii uh, a year ago, uh, which included the scrambling of F-22 Raptors. However, UF, US officials do not have appeared to disclose the origin or suspected origin of that balloon. I can uh, I can just see all the alien bros. Uh, just you imagine the, the number of like UFO calls they're going to get, being like, I'm, I'm done, sure, a UFO. It looked exactly like a weather balloon. And I mean, I guess in this case, I mean, the Chinese are saying it's a weather balloon, but I mean, you could say fucking anything's a weather balloon. Like really, this stuff is spurring a bunch of UAP reports, unidentified aerial phenomena. That's what they call UFOs now, uh, in the sense that they're unidentified, not that they're alien spaceships. Um, in 2022, there had been 366 newly catalogued UAP incidents, 160 of which were said to have been balloon 
or balloon-like entities. Oh my god! We're being invaded by the balloon aliens! The alien balloons, what do they want for us, bro? Are they peaceful? Are they from an advanced balloon civilization where all they do is float about and, you know, merge peacefully with the ether? Or are they the bad kind of balloons that'll come out, come out and, you know, eat our babies and mate with our women to produce a horrible hybrid balloon human offspring with big dangly heads and feet that barely touch the ground? Oh my god, the horror! I can't, can't even imagine it. The Chinese were also uh, quite uh, sort of conciliatory originally. Uh, China is a responsible country, and we always act in accordance with international law. Okay? We have no intention to violate the territory or airspace of any sovereign country. Uh, Mao? This, this spokesman is called Mao. That's that's very unfortunate. That, just, that does not make me trust that person at all, Mao had said. In response to a question about the balloon at a press conference earlier today, we are gathering and verifying the facts. We hope both sides can handle the matter together in a cool-headed and prudent manner. So, no pressing the nukes. Mr. Biden, <laughs> come on, mate. Everybody knows he doesn't have access to the button. You're going to give that Alzheimer's patient access to the nuclear button? Where's my ice cream, Jack? <laughs> New Cuba. <sighs> um, and yeah, and that's, that's, that's basically everything you need to know about the balloon. You're all caught up. Now you too can freak out about the possible balloon apocalypse. You know, I mean, look, uh, or, you know, another horrible potentially thing that's going to like kill us all you can freely speculate that maybe the balloons have uh emp devices that are going to bring down everything or biological weapons or i don't know killer bees or winter vagina oh my god imagine if the balloons had winter vagina oh that is truly not a world i would want to live in i'll keep an eye on this story and if anything else happens i'll let you know but this will probably just dissipate the news cycle is now so tight that literally everyone forgets everything in two days i suspect given 20 years in the future the news cycle will be about five minutes and shit that happens in the morning people will forget about by lunchtime anyway if you enjoyed this video please like share subscribe and all that good stuff and i will see you again soon good night